Hello everyone and welcome to Andre Darius. Today I want to talk about Christian artists being overly sensitive. This is a part two to a video I did a few months ago talking about Christian artists and criticism. And in that video I told a story about my altercation or back and forth between the Christian rapper Zanti's fans and myself. Now where I ended that story isn't the actual ending. It just served for that video so in order to finish it i wanted to make this one and to especially make it a teachable moment to not just christian rappers but to just any sort of artist in general in the christian space it's not required for you to watch the previous video in order to understand this one although it would help a little bit but um basically to pick up where i left off from last time I had a back and forth between Zanti, uh, well, not between Zanti, between Zanti's fans, like trying to explain to them how what I say about his music is just my opinion and how my opinion doesn't matter more than theirs and that all of our opinions are just opinions and that they shouldn't take it so seriously or so to their own heart. But of course, they weren't listening. Now, to pick up into this video, what happened, I think it's a few days, like like just even just like uh, a week or something like that, after this altercation, uh, Zanti ended up deleting both of the God First Freestyles, which is the music uh, which me and his fans were having a back and forth about since they didn't agree with my opinion and had such a strong pushback against it. So basically what happened when Zanti deleted the God First Freestyles, I didn't even know, I didn't even check to see if they were deleted. His fans told me in the comment section, they went and came back and told me that it was my fault that he deleted the God First Freestyles. I didn't believe them at first, went and checked, and but lo and behold, they are actually gone. You can't find the official videos because there were two music videos for I'm So Focused and King of Kings, which were the only two uh, released from the God First Freestyle, since there were supposed to be more of those. And I tried to explain to them, like, uh, because, you know, they're now they're accusing me of making this guy delete actual music. And I tried to tell them that that isn't my fault. All I did was share my opinion, and that was it. I didn't, I didn't hate on him. I didn't bash him. I just shared my opinion on his music, and they're gone. Now, uh, just to be completely honest here, I'm not sure if Zanti deleted those songs because of me. Because, you know, even though I tried to DM him multiple times, uh, I got no reply at all. I, I tried like four or three times to DM him and ask him about the situation, what exactly happened, why did he delete the songs, and I got no reply. And then... Uh, around the same time, uh, another one of the, well, one of the same commenters who I had a back and forth with, I asked them how they knew that it was my fault that those songs got deleted. And they told me that his girlfriend told them, which is, you know, just really random, just them knowing his girlfriend of all people. Uh, but, you know, but, but I don't know. I don't know if that's the reason why he did it. If he had some other reason or whatever, I do not know. As I said, I've tried to contact him, but nothing came of that. So around that same time, uh, Zanti released a post on Twitter saying that the reason why he deleted the God First Freestyles was because he wanted to go, well, basically he said he wanted to go in a different artistic direction or something along those lines. I'll just put up the screenshot somewhere around here. And... I didn't really understand it because that was a very vague way of explaining things. It, it didn't really give any sort of conclusion to it at all or any sort of satisfying conclusion at least. He just kind of said, yeah, I want to do something else. Uh, but even if like, and, and this has happened before with other artists, other artists have said, yeah, I don't want to do this anymore. I want to go into a different direction. But rarely or if ever do they delete the music that they already have out that they want to move away from because like because i'm like saying that like, this all happened like within a week zanti like i uploaded my review of zanti's king of kings and i'm so focused and he deleted them both um 
Now, to be even more honest here, I did make a Twitter post where I at Zanti on Twitter telling him uh, about the, you know, the backlash that I was getting from my video um, about his music and how his fans were treating me this way. And I put up like uh, screenshots of the comments. Uh, I'll also put a screenshot of that up here, whatever. Uh, basically saying, hey, this is how your fans are treating me or whatever, whatever. And so when I saw that the songs got deleted, uh, my first thought was, well, maybe he saw how they were treating me and he didn't want this to happen anymore. So he just took them down. But I don't know. See, that's, that's just a thing. I don't know why. Uh, I don't know if it really was because of what I said and not because of how I was treated by his fans. But, you know, it's just a whole confusing situation. I, I might never even find out why it happened or whatever. So, basically, the teachable moment out of this that I wanted to bring to the forefront here was that Christian artists can't be this sensitive. All right, so basically, um, as an artist uh, releasing music, you have to at least, and, and at least someone in Zanti's position, because he seems to have a lot of creative control over what he releases. I'm sure he likes to, like all the music he releases. All right, I'm, you know, because I'm, I'm not sure if he's independent or whatever, but he seems to have a lot of control, and he seems to like all the music that he releases. So to see him delete two songs be, just because he wants to go in a different direction, I don't know. It just, I don't. I'm just the timing of around my video just seemed very iffy to me. I'm not sure if there was any correlation in between my video and him deleting his two songs but and i just want to make that very very clear i'm not sure if i'm the reason why he did it uh, but if i am the reason first of all it was not my intention for that to happen i never uh, hate on zanti i never hated on zanti or anything like that i just shared my opinion on his music i'm just some guy with a couple hundred subscribers and uh, with a video that got a couple hundred views and that makes you delete two whole songs of a planned series of songs and just go in a whole direction entirely now of course i again i don't know if i'm the reason why he did it but if i am the reason why he did it then that's still not like i don't owe an apology to anybody that's just that's just the way it is i share my opinion and however they feel about it they feel about it all right i'm not responsible for what he does based on my opinion because i i didn't bash him i didn't i wasn't really harsh on him like that i it was just like a simple less than three minute video explaining in in as much detail as was required why i didn't why i wasn't such a fan of his but i did like I, I didn't even dislike the songs to be honest i give them both a six out of ten so you know but if that's how sensitive uh christian artist is then that's a problem sensitive to the point of deleting music that's a problem because all artists at some point receive backlash whether it's about like whatever they're doing or about the music itself and it's very important for artists christian or not to have tough skin which leads me back to the another conversation i had in the previous video about church culture pretty much festering these artists to the point of giving them like all praise and no criticism just so they can stay just so they can be happy and release all the christian music that they want them to make the way how they want them to make it and zanti falls under that category of being christian enough of an artist to a point where he would attract a fan base like the one church culture wants the ones where where there's little criticism where there's just this simple jesus music basically like very very christian -y music all right which which isn't a bash on zanti's music at all if that's what he wants to do then by all means go ahead but you can't be soft about it you can't be this sensitive about it as christian artists you can't be pushed to the point 
of deleting music just because someone doesn't agree with it being particularly very good or at least as good as you think it is all right because at the end of the day you're you're like as an artist you're going to hear all the opinions you're going to hear everyone's opinion on your music both good and bad and a lot of artists whether they're good or bad artists need to have tough skin when it comes to this thing because you'll end up doing this like actually deleting music that you like because someone else didn't like it and that's basically what i wanted to say uh christian artists you can't afford to be this sensitive about your music you can't afford to be this emotional and this clingy to the point where if someone says just a few wrong things about it well not wrong things like uh, if someone has some bad opinions about it that you're pushed to the point of deleting it so this is another reason why church culture needs to move away from this all praise no criticism thing because these artists are getting soft because all they're seeing is love 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 no matter how bad or good they do like which is all opinionated but you know you can't say everything's bad or good basically the message is you need to have tough skin when you're doing whatever it is that you're doing as long as you think it's good because in music and movies because in music and movies and tv shows whatever it is that you're doing christian or not you need to have tough skin because you're going to have see bad opinions and you can't let that misconstrue how you personally feel about your thing whatever it is that you're doing entertainment wise so you need to have tough skin you can't afford to be overly sensitive to the point of deleting whatever you like just because someone else says that they don't like it and that's it thank you for watching don't forget to like share comment subscribe and hit the notification bell to know when i upload next this has been Audrey Darius, and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.